Sakura is a good character. <laughs> no, look. I don't like Sakura, you don't like Sakura, Sakura doesn't even like Sakura. She is regarded as one of the worst characters in the show and for valid reasons. Her actions towards Naruto, her blinding loves towards Sasuke, and her uselessness in earlier parts of the story strengthened the idea that Sakura wouldn't be a well-liked character. But today, I'm actually going to defend Sakura as I do think some things about her character get overlooked when analyzing her as a whole. Stuff that may actually switch the narrative on people on whether they like the character or not. The first point in Sakura's favor is that she is not entirely useless in part 1. Now this is the worst version of Sakura where for a majority of her time being shown is just being protected by her team 7 members and can't put up a fight. That said, there are some moments in part 1 where she should get some credit. For starters, her protecting Sasuke and Naruto while they were unconscious during the force of death was a pretty good use for her character. Now she didn't do much against the sound ninja that came through for Sasuke, especially after other people like Lee showed up to save the day, but her making attempts, like with her booby traps, showed that she is somewhat capable. I also want to note her emotional balance that she brings into the team earlier on, which helps bring some changes that would appear in the later half of the story. Her stopping Sasuke initially after utilizing the curse mark against the sound ninja meant that Sasuke can still be saved with the bonds he occurred while on team 7 and with Kakashi as well, he noted to her that everything will be fine and that things will go back to normal. Now both are mute points considering what happened in the story, that being Sasuke ends up leaving and proves Kakashi was just being irresponsible while saying that, but her use in the story for that gives ample weight for her character. Going over to the Shippuden side of things, she is a more apparent character overall. Look, I don't care what anyone says, but at this point in the story, Sakura isn't useless. After her training during the time skip, she is now able to perform medical ninjutsu and achieve strength that she would be able to put into effect. The strongest case for both would be in the Kazekaze arc where she saved Konkuro's life with medical ninjutsu and her strength being utilized with Lady Chio in their fight against Sasori. You also can't forget her use in the war arc with her healing all the soldiers that came her way, even Naruto at one point, as well as being with Naruto and Sasuke fending off the Ten Tails clones and her monster and strength. So at this point of the story, she really isn't useless. She's just f***ing trash. And going back to her training, people might not agree, but I can make the argument that Sakura had the most growth out of the three trained by the legendary signing over the three year time skip. All Naruto significantly learned during the time skip was a bigger version of the Rasengan, so I can't say that Naruto was the most improved out of the three for that reason alone. As for Sasuke, while he did end up being the strongest out of the three after the time skip, I could argue that this was his latent ability at work, given that Sasuke was already a genius to begin with, and Orochimaru used that to his advantage. Now as for Sakura, she, at first, was borderline trash in comparison to Naruto and Sasuke, so any amount of real training would have served her well given the opportunity. And Tsunade made sure that, as she made Sakura into the beast that she is in Shippuden, receiving the most growth. So the potential for Sakura was always there, we just had to uncover it by not looking blindly to her showings. Look, overall, Sakura freaking sucks, but I do have to give credit where credit is due, especially for the people that actually like Sakura for the reasons I just listed. I saw a comment on a random Naruto video and in one of the comments, someone mentioned that they've gone into the medical field due to being inspired by Sakura and her showings. So I don't want to discredit anyone who has an opposing opinion on Sakura, even though you're wrong, since I don't know how someone is going to react over a freaking cartoon drawing. It's never that deep, and if you do like Sakura, that is perfectly fine. But in case you want to change your opinion, like I stated in previous videos, there are mental institutions calling your name to cure yourself from having a trash opinion. With all that said, what do you think of Sakura as a whole? Do you think she is a good character? If so, what are some moments of hers that you think are worthy of placing her in the good category? I'd love to get y'all's thoughts, so let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to see me shine more light onto her character, click the card you see here which will take you to my video on Sakura vs Hinata, where I think for the majority of her showings would have me thinking that she would beat the breaks off Hinata. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you all have an amazing and blessed day. Peace.